Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to talk about the channel in general. And so this is not too boring for you. I have found these two Ultimate Guard deck boxes, and we're just gonna have a look what's in there because I couldn't remember. And then something is happening here while you listen to me ramble on about the channel. Sorry, bumped into the camera. I will also add timestamps so you can just skip to the part of the video you like and I will talk about you, the subs and uh, the new subs, the old subs. Little welcome to everybody. I will talk about content in general and content over the next three weeks. And uh, to finish off, I probably will talk about the Black Lotus trade that is upcoming at a thousand subs. And um, that's about it for today. And I might drift off here and there. And uh, yeah, that's not a big problem. But uh, <laughs> in general, that's roughly the the topics we're going to talk about. Hey, speed versus cunning. So this is either either easy. <laughs> this is either speed or cunning. Um, all right, folks, the subs. Uh, subs are going great. I, I, I really have to thank you all for joining. And uh, that's actually what I do from time to time. And uh, people that follow me for a longer period of time already know that. I like to just thank you guys in a video. Not too much um, happening on screen then, but uh, that's why we're looking through these decks and just enjoying the cards and I talk to you. So thanks a lot to all the new subs and a very, very big thank you of course, of course, of course, yeah, it's one of those days, of course, to all the old subs, because I think you guys are awesome. I really appreciate you guys being here. And if you're a new sub or old sub, I don't care. As long as you participate in the conversation, I'm really happy you're here. But uh, there are a couple of guys that are actually commenting on like almost every video and uh, they are here on a regular basis or they talk to me offline so yeah that that really keeps me going um it's not that easy sometimes uh, especially if you do daily content and i of course have to work like long days in amsterdam and then uh, when I get home, I spend time with the kids and uh, with the wife, of course. And once everybody's in bed, I'm recording a video every single day. So it's uh, taking its toll and I need to be careful that it still stays fun. And it is fun. But on the other hand, I um, yeah need to be aware of that. And if you guys are enthusiastic about stuff, uh, that makes me happy and that keeps me uh motivated so that's uh, that's pretty cool thanks a lot for that content wise i um am actually looking at yeah long pause long pause folks uh, there's a lot of stuff going on outside my window today so it's a bit uh, difficult to concentrate sometimes um especially if you hear dutch outside and then you talk in english but um content wise which would bring us to our second topic I uh, have a little bit of difficulty keeping up the content daily. Uh, it works out fine, uh, but it's like I've, I'm thinking I have a new, unique videos and I have a structured week, of course, but every video is unique. So it's not that I can recycle stuff. And um, that makes it a bit difficult to release a video every day sometimes because there's just not uh, enough going on for me personally in my collection or the stories I tell I have told some and I won't tell the same story twice still have some some cool stories from the gaming world that's why I for example uh, if I get a new board game I add that to the rotation as well and I know a lot of you like that so I was really happy <laughs> the hero quest video a couple of days ago I was really happy about the reactions because a lot of people started out apparently with hero quest uh, as well and then got into fantasy and into magic the gathering so that's pretty uh, pretty cool um, same goes for uh, other stuff, like uh, if I look at my random buy Tuesday or reserved list buy Tuesday, I, I simply can't buy a lot at the moment. It's, uh, <laughs> I, I buy some, of course, and some stuff that's a bit, a bit more expensive and sometimes it's a bit less expensive, but 
it's uh, times are rough and uh, holidays are coming up and uh, yeah uh, that's that's why I need to be a bit careful with my finances and I think everybody should and I'm happy if I can buy a new card and I can show it to you and I do all the time uh, if I buy something new but there are weeks that nothing is coming in so uh, yeah uh, or yeah then I, I try to find something smaller or cheaper which still is interesting for my collection and still show it to you um, like for example the preacher yesterday yeah it was a card for uh, probably it was a card for 50 bucks and I probably if I if I uh, skip like uh, my coffee uh, at Starbucks at work uh, every week uh, or every day of the week then I can I can afford such a card so I can still make make that work but in general yeah, it's uh, not possible to uh, buy high-end cards uh, every week of course not even every month and that's logical it looks so easy but it's not um, content wise as well so staying on that second topic a little longer uh holidays are coming up i just mentioned it and we're gonna uh definitely enjoy time with the family and that's gonna take a couple of weeks so i'm really looking forward to that especially for the kids as well but that means during that time i will probably not be able to keep up daily content i try to at least release one two three videos a week uh, even from holiday but uh can't guarantee can't guarantee it i hope you uh, still have faith in me and once i'm back i i will definitely continue daily content uh, but <laughs> yeah i i need a holiday and it's it's very simple it's not it's not that this is a profession this is fun i can't keep that up i can't i can't like work uh, 10 hours a day spend time with the kids and then make uh, videos for two hours every day without gaining anything and i don't want to gain anything from you uh except for your enjoyment but then uh hopefully you can stick with me a little longer until i'm back from holiday and uh yeah y you hear these stories a lot that channels die while people are away for a week uh, yeah if i'm away for three weeks uh or two three weeks what's uh <laughs> what to expect i don't know i will see uh same goes a bit for the kind of type of content because uh, i talked about hero quest lost a lot of subs with that hero quest video then i think like yeah man people i give you magic the gathering content every day and i don't want to complain if you don't want to see it then unsubscribe because of that one video but then why not wait until the next day? i don't really get that so uh, that's uh that's something that was a bit strange to me like yeah just if you don't like that particular one I, I did that once now uh, and uh, yeah I mix it up with uh, other TCG here and there if I have new info of sorcery or if I have uh, new info about um, flesh and blood I, I want to complain about because I'm not happy with uh, the state then uh, yeah it's uh, it's not it's not that I do that that often and on a regular basis certainly but yeah it's, definitely not uh, not every day sometimes not every week it's I, I don't get that same goes for same goes for that's uh, a phrase i have used in this video <laughs> a couple of times i recognize the same for the short uh, on my short sunday like two weeks ago i was talking about the counter spell i was showing old counter spells i that was my most hated video and i don't know why i liked the video it was very neutral it was just like showing counter spells and counter spell i i, I yeah uh showed like uh old counter spell versions i have and uh, i think i got like 20 dislikes i never got any dislikes on my videos and on that one i got 20. please if somebody knows why what is so hateful about that video uh short sunday with the counter spells uh yeah i explained it to me I, I didn't get it why do so many people hate that video and i lost a lot of subs because of that and i don't really know why but okay not about the subs uh not about gaining anything but uh i'm happy you're here so i hope you stay here while i struggle to make content on a well-deserved holiday with the family and in the end, everybody that stays, uh, I know they stay for a good reason. 
even in these fast times in this fast uh, moving world where uh, if not uh, daily stuff is delivered uh, people start disappearing or not caring anymore um don't want to get too dark again i'm, I'm pretty happy with the channel i hope it uh, will be still a, <laughs> a reasonable size even after three weeks of holiday but i'm confident it will because i believe everybody who is here grow, grew with me organically the channel grew organically i never invested any money in the channel because i simply don't have it and i don't earn anything with the channel just doing this for fun and i hope um, the people who are here are enjoying that fun leave me a comment leave me a like if you actually are here because you enjoy it um, would uh, would mean a lot to me and a lot of you do already but in this case i'm particularly asking for it last but not least um update on the black lotus trade it's still on folks it's still on <laughs> we just need to get to a thousand subs and i imagine i will lose subs over the next couple of weeks without regular content but um i talked to my buddy who has the black lotus and for everybody who's new who doesn't know the story the story is very simple a buddy of mine want uh, wanted to trade a video game for his Black Lotus. So I am giving him an old uh, sealed video game, World of Warcraft, the collector's edition sealed, like uh, almost 20 years old, I think. Um, and he's giving me an unlimited Black Lotus as a trade for that. Um, like, okay condition, probably, I would say, like uh, light plate, maybe even heavy plate. I don't know. It, it, uh, I looked at it and it looked quite okay to me. It fits my collection of, of plate cards. It's not beat, it's not dead. But um, yeah, uh, that trade is still on and uh, he agreed to do that once I reach a thousand subs uh, as a motivation and uh, yeah, a little bit of a marketing uh, push for my channel from his side because he first wanted a different uh, game, a Zelda game, and I didn't want to trade that. So I offered him the World of Warcraft Collector's Edition. He accepted, uh, but under the condition that we reach a thousand subs here. Still confident that might happen this year. That means uh, Lotus is um, in reach, folks. Um, that would be whew, that would be something. So I hope we don't lose too many subs over the holiday. And <laughs> uh, yeah, then uh, the the lotus might be something we can enjoy pretty soon. Uh, holiday, anyways. Um, people are here at home, so that's cool. The cat is taken care of. My family is living in my house, so yeah, all good. Uh, I can I can uh, relax and uh, wind out without worrying about anything. And um, that means as well that uh, I'm gonna try to do that, uh, which uh, which is good. Um, yeah, because the cat often is a, is a worry as well, of course. But uh, if uh, my family is living in the house, then the cat is well taken care of. Um, and the house is well taken care of, which is a nice thing as well. You don't have to worry about that. Always good if somebody is at home. Um, I... I think I said what I wanted to say. It's gotten a bit longer than I wanted to. Uh, and probably a lot of people won't enjoy these kind of videos, but that has to happen from time to time. And this is how we do it on this channel. I sometimes just like to talk to you and that's what I did today. So you know what's going on, you know what's coming and uh, you know what's happening with me and the channel. And I think that it's part of me and this channel as well, because it's a very personal channel and I, just like to talk to you guys and i enjoy you guys actually looking for that communication um last but not least you saw in the middle of the video <laughs> if you didn't skip back to it uh i found my camera so after the holiday or maybe even before i don't know if i still have time this week after the holiday i will definitely start doing live streams i just have to figure out a time slot because most of you are living in north america and i'm living in europe um so that's a bit dif difficult for me to to estimate because if it's too late uh, for me then it's not uh, feasible uh, but if it's too early if I'm like uh, in the late afternoon early evening then it's too early for you to watch so I have to find a time slot that makes sense but I think we'll manage so that's coming up as well 
I leave it to this, folks. I talk to you tomorrow. Uh, this week, the content should be all un unaltered, um, and I should be able to deliver a video at least uh, once every two days, once every day before holiday, because I still have to finish stuff at work. Um, next week, holiday will start, and uh, yeah, the the videos will be a little less, but maybe I can add some. Um, store visits uh, in Spain uh, have some shorter ones just opening some Spanish packs and uh, staying relevant in the algorithm that way <laughs> I don't know uh, have a great rest of the week folks I talk to you next time and I thank you for listening stay healthy stay frosty bye bye